Lions, tigers, oh my. Welcome to Animals Wow TV. Today we'll look at the top five craziest pets people actually own. Stay until number one. You won't believe what kind of crazy pet you'll see. Before we begin, please take a moment to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button for regular updates on our exciting animal videos. Ah, pets, we just can't live without them. Some people are satisfied with dogs and cats, gerbils and turtles, but other people prefer exotic animals to regular ones. Joe Exotic and his tigers, Siegfried and Roy and their lions and tigers, Justin Bieber and his capuchin monkey, Paris Hilton and her kinkajou, Hugh Hefner and his llama, Nicole Kidman and her alpacas. There are just some of the unusual pets that people keep in their homes, but our top five will blow these animals away. Let's start with number five, a crocodile. Can you imagine owning an animal that's a cousin of the dinosaurs? In the Northern Territories of Australia, only about 100 people are allowed to keep freshwater or saltwater crocodiles as pets. They must follow government regulations to keep both pets and the humans that get in contact with the crocodiles safe and healthy. These regulations include housing guidelines and what to do in case of emergencies. But some people buy baby crocs and then return them once the animals grow big because even the best crocodile wranglers cannot train these gigantic killing machines. Just ask Outback Wrangler Matt Wright, whose pet croc named Tripod recently bit a man. No one can master a one-ton, 17-foot, 80-year-old crocodile. Well, our number one animal can do that. But before we meet the one animal that can fight off a full-grown croc, let's go to number four, bear. Bears are cute and cuddly. It's no wonder that they inspire teddy bears. But can you really handle an 800-pound bear as a pet? Meet Mark and Don Dumas of British Columbia, Canada, who have a polar bear and a grizzly bear as pets. Billy, the grizzly bear, was adopted a few years ago. Mark describes him as a goofball who knows how to perform for the crowds. Iggy, the polar bear, was adopted from a zoo when her elderly mother could not take care of her. So Mark, who works in film production, was able to train Iggy since she was a cub. Now 16 years old, Iggy starts in TV adverts and movies. When she's not working, Iggy is living the life. She's given all the salmon she wants. She's free to stroll through her large enclosure, and she swims with her dad and gives him bear kisses. Don't be fooled by Iggy's love for Mark, though. She is extremely protective of her dad. She also loves to hog all of his attention. So if you try to get between these two, prepare to be Iggy's dinner. But Iggy might just allow the next animal to play with her. Number three, capybara. Some people like to keep rats, mice, gerbils, hamsters, or guinea pigs as pets. Some want something bigger, a lot bigger. Like a capybara, the largest rodent in the world. This big rat can grow as big as almost five feet long and as heavy as 170 pounds. Unlike the crocodile and the bear, a capybara is a very easygoing animal. They're so chill that other animals just love hanging out with them. But you still need to create a good environment if you want to have one as a pet. Capybaras are very social creatures, so you will want to raise more than one pet so your capybara won't be lonely. The other pet doesn't have to be a fellow capybara. Just look at Chico, the capybara of Jackie Coleman Wren, who lives in Arkansas, USA. He's happy to have as housemates an opossum and raccoon. Prepare a large tract of land for them to wander through and eat from. They love to munch on grass and tree bark. They're also semi-aquatic animals, so build a pool for them to swim in with their partly webbed feet. They don't like being kept in an enclosed space, so don't keep them inside your house. They're like beavers whose teeth keep on growing, so they need to always gnaw on something hard. If you leave them inside your house, you'll soon have a bunch of sticks instead of furniture. Our next pet will not destroy your stuff, but it might make you squeamish. Number two, cockroach. Admit it, if you think about pets, the last animal you will consider is a cockroach, but that's just the perfect pet for some people. Meet the Madagascar hissing cockroach. It can grow up to three inches long and live up to five years. It gets its name from the hissing sound it unleashes when it fights fellow roaches, when it wins, when it loses, and when it mates. It loves fruits and plants. Unlike its ordinary roach cousins, the Madagascar hissing cockroach lives on forest floors, not in human houses. It also does not have wings. Its fans love it because it's pretty tame and good-natured for a cockroach. It's easy to manage for a cockroach, and it's a pretty hardy species because it's a cockroach. There's a theory that cockroaches will outlast everything on this planet except for tardigrades. So if you're into insects and petting exoskeletons, enjoy this video of a fellow cockroach enthusiast unboxing some Madagascar hissing cockroaches. By the way, did you know that a group of cockroaches is called an intrusion? 
A Madagascar hissing cockroach can lay up to 60 eggs, so if you decide to have a pair that mates, prepare for an intrusion. Our final pet also feels like a big invasion. Number 1. Hippopotamus In South Africa, one of the animals that can fight a crocodile and win is a hippo. Notorious for being unpredictable and aggressive, an adult hippopotamus can apply a bite that's several tons in pressure. Can an animal that even a crocodile will run away from be a good pet? According to Tony and Shirley Joubert, it's totally possible. As proof, here's their pet hippo, Jessica. The couple got Jessica in 2000 when South Africa suffered from widespread floods. The baby calf had been washed down a river and separated from her mother. She landed near the couple's house. She still had her umbilical cord and was very weak, so Tony and Shirley decided to take care of her. Soon, Jessica was growing up by leaps and bounds. She also learned to leap and bound with the family dogs. Tony and Shirley knew that Jessica would not be able to live in the wild without a parent, since baby hippos live with their mothers until they're four years old. So they decided to become Jessica's parents for good. Now, Jessica spends her days cuddling with her mom on her special mattress, visiting wild hippos who live in the river near her house, and being a good guard hippo. She's very protective of her family, so don't dare mess with her. There you have it our top five craziest pets people actually own. Do you have a different top pick? Do you think keeping tigers and lions as pets are crazier after all? Share your thoughts, and don't forget to click the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And while you're here, you might want to check out our video of the top 10 animals that can resurrect after death.